All right, enough of that. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, boys and girls, we have gotten to the halfway point of the season. Microphone a little closer here. I actually need to turn up the sound a little on my end. There we go. All right. So we are 49 and 37. Freaking Dodgers are 40 games over 500. <laughs> They're 35 and 11 at home. 24 and 5 in the division. They're just crushing that division. <clears throat> so, um, stat wise, Rooker's doing it great. 19 and 42, hitting 308. Uh, Adamas providing the power, but not the average. Butler providing power and a little average. Pete Crow's doing defense and speed, which hopefully his uh, average will go up as, as he uh, progresses through this franchise. I'm going to make one change today. I'm going to take McCann out against starting against righties, and we're going to let Langoliers play uh, every day. Um, the difference in the contact is offset by the difference in the power. So, Pitching-wise, Max Freed is dinged up a little bit, one to six days on a hammy. But he and Burns are doing great. We traded for Garcia last year. He's doing great. <clears throat> Mitch Spence has been doing great. And Joey Estes had a bad start in one of the sims that we did after we pitched with him. Um, but he's doing really well. Um, and glad to have him back up. You can see last year he made 32 starts and had an ERA of 3.6. So uh, his only problem was home runs allowed. Um, and we had a younger guy who, uh, well, I wouldn't say younger guy. It was J.P. Sears, a more experienced guy, but Sears wasn't doing it. Let's go. What is Sears doing down at AAA? <clears throat> yeah, he's dominating AAA, which I would expect him to do as a 75 overall. So that's, that's a good thing to have. <clears throat> so, oh, also we traded away Zach Jackson, got Alexis Diaz. They're getting paid exactly the same amount. And we got younger. So that's where we are there. Um, trading block, because that's coming up um, later in the episode. Yeah, we, we don't have enough to get these two guys. I would love to have either one of those two, but we're not going to get them. Like for McClanahan, they would want uh, Mason Miller and Corbin Burns. Nope. Uh, Garrett Crochet, they would want uh, Miller, Pete Crow, and Luis Garcia. No. <clears throat> so... Alonzo going to be a free agent? No, he's making 6.6. .6. Wow. Don't need him, though. Danny Jansen, 29. Hmm. Salvi Perez is not worth catching right now. He's declining, so. All right, so. Uh, <clears throat> you can see we have... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have nine straight division games right around the uh, before and after the All-Star break. And then the rest of the games, uh, we have the Dodgers and then a bunch of other American League teams. So um, since we have to do the draft, possible home run derby, that depends on if Rooker gets in or not. <clears throat> um, no guarantee he's going to be in there. Um and then we got to get our guys signed, get the trade deadline. I don't think we're going to make any huge moves at the deadline. I think I'm going to stick with the team as is and just try and do it with that um, and then see how it goes and then go into next year and figure out if we need to make any changes. We are $43 million under our max budget, so we're in good shape. <clears throat> you can see... We have uh, a lot of salaries paid up over the next three years, and then uh, not much after that. So, yeah, we're going to drop from ninety-three million down to six million where the commitments. So, <clears throat> we'll see what this team can do for uh, three seasons. Um, I can't look at the uh, prospects. I already looked at the prospects earlier, and I've been keeping a running tab on guys that we. Uh, are interested by position we'll go over them again once we get to the end of this week and we do our last week of scouting 
Um, I have just a handful of guys at every position except, well, pitchers. We have a shit ton of pitchers, but I've been trying to keep a list of those guys um, off camera, so don't waste your time. So have a an idea. We have a shot at some hitters in the first round since we're picking eighth. It really depends on who goes before we pick. Sometimes they'll drop. You'll get a, a number one suspect. You'll get a 1-1 a one, one guy. The best player to draft, sometimes they'll drop to 7, 8, 9, 10. Can't count on that. So we'll see. Um, I think the best player in the draft is a pitcher. I think his name is Jose Benitez. So if we could get him, that would be awesome. But I don't expect to at 8. <clears throat> Pitchers usually go early. But we got a couple of catchers. Um, one or two second basemen. Only one at third and short. We got a handful of outfielders, about six or seven. None of them are like studs, but definitely uh, serviceable as backups or, or um, use them immediately, and then they would move to a backup role later. Um, <clears throat> I have seen a lot <clears throat> of guys that may end up with an A potential, but they're probably going to be in the 50s. So if they're 18, that would be okay. If they're 20, 21, 22, that's not going to work. How you doing, Spectre? Dude, I picked up the... Uh, no, I didn't pick him up. I've had him. I'm playing the Packers defense against your Bears because um, I'm expecting another shit show for you guys. <laughs> and watch Cable come out and throw for 350 and run two touchdowns or some shit. <clears throat> All right. Let's get in here and get going. Um What's our what's our standings right? So we're two and a half ahead of the Astros. Angels are bottom of the list. Zero wins, yeah. So what I'll probably do is we'll play a game at Houston here. And then we'll play a game against Texas here one of these days, probably that game. And we'll just sim the rest <clears throat> and do some player locks. Um, but I'm only going to play two games and we're trying to get through this because the draft is going to take some time. If we do the home run derby, if Rooker makes it, that'll take some time. Uh, trade deadline probably won't take a lot of time and I'll probably want to drop back down to double a and get some gameplay in with, uh, Fiori. And if Kurtz comes back, maybe one with him. So anyway, Alec Manoa, <clears throat> Let's just sim this week. I'm not even going to player lock. I want to sim and get to where we can look at our prospects. All right. Win 9-7. to seven. Pounded Manoa. Rooker and Noto with home runs. Burns pitched well. Sandlin did not. I don't know why Castro got the save. Um, Barrios and Garcia. And we lose 4-3. to three. Home run by Schneider. Home run by Kelnick. Bullpen did not do its job. Garcia did his job. All right. And against Gossman, Max Freed's back. Good, good, good. We win. Rooker with another home run. Estes pitched well. Bullpen did their job this time. So two out of three. That puts us six games back. But we are a full... Looks like we're tied with the Orioles. They're actually ahead by winning percentage because they played two less games. Yeah, I know Gary. It keeps telling me Crochet's on a trade block, but I, I know that. But McClanahan's not. Did McClanahan get traded? Wow. Wow. All right, hold on. I want to show you something. The Rays got... Just Q DePaula and Emmett Sheehan from the Dodgers for Junior Caminero. And they traded Shane Baz to the Brewers for Jefferson uh, Chiaro. We, we thought about trying to get Baz in a trade. So that's off the books. Where does it say all? Um, Shane Baz. Christian Moore. All right. <clears throat> so Boston, going this way. Boston took this starting pitcher after we passed on him. Um, and we took that 
first baseman that we moved to second base, Logan Fiore. We took him instead of this guy. And this guy's already in the majors at 18 years old. It won't show his minor league stats once he goes to the majors, which is fucking stupid. Um, but see, he tops out at 90 miles an hour as a lefty. So he's a soft tossing lefty. That's one of the reasons why we didn't take him because he doesn't throw hard. <clears throat> and we took uh, Logan Fiore, who absolutely demolishes lefties. Look at that. He's up seven against lefties, both contact and power. He has good vision, discipline, and clutch. He's got a good arm. We're going to play him at second base. He can back up um, the outfield and uh, first base. So. <clears throat> Let's move Jordan to double A. I'm not sure why he's Cooper Bowman to class A. Kurtz is still hurt. Soderstrom's doing well. Yeah, Soderstrom might have to come up and play first base next year. <clears throat> All right. Hold on. What, what does that put... Uh... 21 for Rooker. So he's fourth in the American League. That's six. So he's in the home run derby at the moment. At the moment. All right. Let's do a player lock here real quick. Let's go as a righty. So let's do Kobe Mayo. We haven't done him in a bit. And we'll see how McCann does. I need to switch that out. I said I was going to do it and I didn't do it. We got four guys that are on uh, cold streaks. We need to get that rectified too. All right, Spence, six and six with a 340. And we're down one nothing. Not sure what hat that is for Tampa Bay. I think I turned uh, defense, playing defense off on player lock just because uh, half the time, more than half the time when we play outfield, the ball never gets to us. They hit a ground ball in the infield, so it's just a waste. It's a waste of my time. And a long foul ball. It's a red, white, and blue. I guess it's the 4th of July. When paying attention, it's the 4th of July. Get over his head. There we go. A little late swing jam myself and shoot that over his head for a single. All right, I'll take that. All right, Kyle, let's go. He's out. Should not have run on that guy. All right, Butler hit a home run, so we're down two. Should have let them bat. Oh, man. They expected that ghost pepper Campbell soup is uh, legitimately fire. I don't know if you got enough of that to get out. That might be a warning track shot. Or no, it's gone. There we go. <laughs> it helps if I'm in the chat window. Back to a one-run game. Then we lose. Let's see if I can get a shot here for the uh, thumbnail. Oh, I don't know. Bad. 
that. I want that. <clears throat> there we go. All right, he had two hits. A little flare single and a deep bomb, 438. I'll take that. All right, let me go fix this lineup. I'm going to take you out and put you in. Go lefty, righty, lefty, righty. That'll work. All right, we're just going to sim against McClanahan because going to get beat. Lost two to nothing. Jake Bowers with a two-run homer in the second inning. Two hits shut out. Breed pitched okay. Bullpen did its job. All right. Scouting. <clears throat> Velasquez, I put him on the list. Looks like he's going to be a C in the high 60s, low 70s. So mid to high 70s. So he's going to be like really close to his overall um, he was the only, so I have a limited upside. You probably could use him um, like right away since he's 21. He's got great defense, good power, not a lot of contact. Um, Roche, he looks like another C in the low 60s. Um, we discovered two more, nothing there. Leave that there. All right. Let's go look at pitchers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roth. 44.78. Splitter, I like a splitter. Sinker, sweeping curve. Three. All right. We're going to uh, <clears throat> try and nail two of these, these pitchers here at the very end, just so we don't fuck up and have them um, slip through, and then it gets to be our pick, and we don't know. So, Brooke Roth. Both of our, uh, both of our scouts can do hitters or pitchers. Man, those guys have really good pitch mix as well. So we'll at least get them partway scouted. <sighs> All right. Seven games back. One game behind the Orioles there. You know, I said I was going to look at this. Look, look at this. All right. So pitchers. Um, God, he's listed as number one on our list. Um, his hits per nine is terrible, though, so I would only take him if he was there, like, in the second round or something like that. Flores, hold on. Sorry, my dogs are losing their shit. Somebody's outside, I'm sure. All right, cutter, splitter, change. He doesn't have a fastball other than a cutter. This is the uh, number one guy. He looks like he's pretty good. The only thing he's down in is home runs per nine. And if he comes in on the higher end, it won't be so bad. Um, Rodriguez, this guy is a good discovered guy. Um, again, his velocity... Two seam, four seam. I'd probably change that two seamer to a sinker. Um, but he's definitely a B. He'd have to come in on the high end to get an A. Reigns. Good hits per nine. Decent velocity. Rose got terrible per nines in control. Only three pitches. Hinkle. Home runs and pitch control are down, but his velocity is decent. He's got five pitches, four of them over 90 miles per hour. Definitely change that two-seamer to a sinker. So fastball, sinker, curveball, changeup, slider. This is a definite possibility. 
depending on how the first round breaks down. Cordova, um, he's probably going to hit in the uh, high 60s and the low 80s. Doesn't have a lot of velocity, but he'd, he'd be usable. Bridges we didn't scout. Chance Tata. Save the Tatas. Great velocity. Um, he's not bad. Iwamura is another one of those. He's probably going to be in the low 80s and be in the high 60s. So he's not going to be the a high-end guy. Lopez is uh, hits and strikeouts we didn't we didn't like. Darren Walls, terrible hits, strikeouts, home runs. <clears throat> Wouldn't consider him too much. Salazar's hits and walks are down. That's not good for simming, but the rest is okay. Lowe's got good hits and strikeouts. Velocity's a little low. Quizardo, low hit, low per nines except for hits per nine. He's a lefty, he can throw 99 miles an hour. That's not bad. There's another one, Manny. Brothers. Aparicio. That's low strikeouts and piss control, but man, look at all those pitches. Yep, yeah. Carras wouldn't be too bad. Um, we found this closer, and since we pick at 39, there's a chance we get this guy. Um, <clears throat> fastball cutter, curveball change, not bad. He's 22 years old, so he would not take very long to get into our bullpen, and uh. Maybe one year at AAA and go. Wasn't a whole lot of other closers out there. Uh, we looked at this guy, Daryl Burden. He's got good contact, vision, discipline, great fielding. His arm strength and accuracy are kind of eh. Looks more like a first baseman. Does not have great power. So that's what I'm concerned with. You know, he could be in the low 80s on his potential and be in his low 60s for his overall, which isn't a bad start for... 18 years old, but not having power and not having a great arm kind of, if he has great power, I can live with the defense, but if he's not going to have great power and he's not going to have a great arm, then he doesn't help us a ton at catcher. Goss, great defense, absolutely great defense. His hitting's okay, but he is 21. So he's another one of those guys that would be possibly low eighties, low sixties, but he's already 21. He's not 18. <clears throat> <clears throat> Another great hitter that can't hit for power. Here's Velasquez. Great power, great defense. Really good at stealing. He's just not going to make a lot of contact against righties. Good, good guy to have in the organization. He could be a bench player, maybe. This guy could be anywhere from 56 to 90. I don't like that just that broad of a range. Thornton. All he is is speed, pretty much. Some good contact. Decent power against righties. Can't hit lefties. Has bad vision and discipline, so he's like a pinch runner. Um, Levi Westbrook. <clears throat> Great speed and defense. Really good power, but low vision, low contact. I don't know if that helps us at all. Marshall Corley, now this is more along the lines of a center fielder where he has great contact, vision, discipline, great speed, good fielding, arm is okay, don't need his power. Uh, if this guy was there, hold on, my daughter's calling. All right, sorry. Which guy? It's back to which guy's the Illinois boy. <clears throat> I 
I didn't see the chat. This guy, though, if he's there, what is he? He's They had him ranked three. We have him 25, but he, if he's there with the eighth pick, I would definitely take him. We could play him at left field, or his defense doesn't matter as much. He could be the replacement for uh, SD Ruiz. Um, this guy looks like he can pound righties. Yeah, I just didn't get into uh, look at these hitters enough, which leads me to think we're going to end up spending more time. This guy's a pretty good hitter. Doesn't have a lot of power, um, but he's 22. Probably going to be uh, spending more picks on pitchers, but if we can get a hitter in here early, um, that would be great. We'll just kind of see how it goes. <clears throat> This guy just doesn't do anything great. He's 23. All right, that's where we are. So we're going to hit these two pitchers so that uh, if there are two guys that are actually top 10 pitchers, we get something on them before we get into. And they throw a lot of pitches, so that's good. I really like that. <clears throat> All right, Tampa Bay. So we said we were going to play an Astros game and a Rangers game before and after. So I would say let's play this one right before we go to the draft. And we can jump right into the draft. And we can play this Sunday game after the after the draft. All right. Taj Bradley. We win 8-7. Caballero and Arondo with two home runs for them. Willie Adamas with a home run. Rosario made three errors. Jesus. Um... Wow. Somehow came back and won that. Minor league guy hurt. Let's go down to double A real quick. And we're going to do Logan Fury again, but I wanted to do it against a right-handed pitcher so he can try and boost his stuff um, because he's dominating lefties and we need to get him to... Uh, hit better against righties. So I've been doing this ass backwards instead of like jumping in and mashing when he's already going to mash in the sim. Um, <clears throat> let's get in here against righties and try and help him out. That glare is not going to be fun. Oh, respect. I can't wait for the NFL this weekend. I get Nico Collins back. I get T. Higgins back. So this is my lineup for the week. I have Russell Wilson against the Ravens. I have A-Chan and Jameer Gibbs playing shitty teams. I have A.J. Brown, Nico Collins, T. Higgins, and uh, Jalen Waddell. And then tight end is Kittle. My kicker is the guy from Miami because the Vegas gives up a lot of kicker points. And then I have Green Bay against Chicago. And the dude I'm playing is the worst team in the league. Um, and I should uh, easily beat him. <clears throat> next week's going to be fun because the dude I'm playing next week beat me the first week because Chicago Bears defense scored two defense special teams touchdowns and I lost by eight. So they got him 12 extra points, and I lost by eight. And he's got he's got Josh Allen, Alvin Kamara, and Chase Brown, and Dalton Kincaid all on a bye. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that should be a fun one. Is that going to get out of here? Just shy. 
and Soto got us on the board. I should be good to go for gameplay. I've been playing all morning long with my uh, my Cardinals franchise that I uh, streamed five years worth, right? Just won a World Series with them. I, uh, I just played the uh, entire next season off camera for my own sake. And we beat the Royals in the World Series in five. We lost game one and then beat them four straight. We had to we swept the Braves in three in the uh, DS, and then we beat the Dodgers in six after we lost the first two at home, and then we won four straight games. <clears throat> so, so, uh, yeah, we won back to back with them. And uh, Chris Cutliff, our very first draft pick in the in that whole franchise. Um, Went 20 and 5 and won the Cy Young. So. I might keep playing it just for my own sake because it's uh, my favorite team. Get out of here. Get out of here. Off the wall. Oh, that's twice they put him up against the wall. So. I've also been working on a new stadium. I have a new, like, Florida stadium. Florida, like, location, not the Marlins. <clears throat> not 100% happy with it yet. Still messing with it. I'm going to make a new um, dome stadium, though, for the Rays. And I have not started that yet, so... Cool thing is, they the, all the stadiums that you make will carry over into um, later versions of the game. I wish they would revamp it and give us better stands to work with and better props and get rid of the bullpens on the field and all that good stuff. Safe. Safe. Oh, he threw him out. Bad call. Oh, when I was playing the Braves earlier, <clears throat> I think it was last night, I hit a home run there with Nolan Gorman that was 460 feet to dead center field. Hit the hit the back wall of the, uh, the batter's eye. <laughs> it was beyond the fountain and all that. Bam, 460 in Atlanta. Atlanta's at a little bit of altitude, more than you would think. All right, we win 5-2. to two. Fiore goes two for four, does not score a run. Colby Thomas and Richie Black with home runs. Love it, love it. John Hess. I think Hess was a first, not a first round, but he was a draft pick of ours, I think. Pull this up. Have the A's in here? Oh, I guess they don't. I guess they don't have a depth chart, an organizational depth chart. Then, okay, thought I did. <clears throat> All right. JT again is out one to two weeks. Well, he was killing it in AAA, and now he's hurt. Major League side, we win 10-6. Rooker, Mayo with two. Langoliers and Noda at the Dodgers. We're blasting home runs at the Dodgers. Who do we beat up on? Dustin May, Kershaw. Wow. All right. Joey Estes and Shohei. Yeah, I don't want to bat against Shohei. And we win 8-3. to three. Langoliers with a home run. There we go. Putting him against righties was a good move. All right, so we're going to play this game against Bromber. And then this game here. So 
Jordan Hicks. Yeah, we can we can play a lock of Jordan. Let's go with uh, Butler. <clears throat> I've been going in and like doing exhibition games and just throwing pitches right down the middle so they hit a high fly ball and then uh, go to the replay and get high shots of all these stadiums so I can see how their outfield seating arrangement is, the behind the corners of the stands and all these extra sections and decks like that underneath that Youth Alliance sign. They got that NLV network there and they've got the other stuff. Um, so I can uh, get some better ideas for when I make stadiums. So I'm going to go into each ballpark and take a shot of left field corner and right field corner and include center field. And uh, try and get <clears throat> much better. I think I'm fairly good at making stadiums as it is, but I can always get better. See, they don't give us those narrow corners that got that stupid rounded corner. <laughs> drives me insane. All right, losing four nothing. I had my chance with the bases loaded and popped it up. Is that fair? No. Missed the uh, Chick Fil A sign. Yeah, late decision to swing. Nope. Nope. All right. See if I can get us back in the game here. Double would be good. Homer would be better. That's twice we're trying for that chicken sign and missed. <clears throat> good old Chick-fil-A sign. Get by him. That'll be a hit. There we go. Load the bases. All right. Let's go, Kobe. <clears throat> Rock him out. Happens 75% of the time. Get on base. Computer strikes out the... Uh... Okay. So we're down 5-1 to one now. Probably won't get up again. Unless we score some runs, we're not going to get up again. going to catch that. No, oh, we got up. Hey, we're up seven to five because Adamas hit a grand slam. Wow. What a comeback. Six run, eighth inning. That's going to be down. Get two hits for Butler. Get that average up. Mustache just make my nose itch. <laughs> All right, Kobe. Find some green. Nope. Two at-bats, two strikeouts. 
and <laughs> they came back and tied it, but Rooker hit a solo homer to give us the lead again. This game will never end. Rooker's trying to get in the home run derby, guys. If he gets in the home run derby, we won't do as much player locking on the second half of this video. And Butler is going to get his third hit of the game. That's going to be at least two. And there we go. Three hits for Larry Butler. All right, Kobe, you've struck out twice with me on base. So at least put it in play. It's going to get caught. It's going to get caught. <laughs> and Altuve ties the game. This game will never end. All right, three for six, trying to get our fourth hit of the game. Oh, got under it. That means we're going to lose. They're going to score and win the game. Yep, told you. Adama's two for six with five. Rooker's got 23 home runs now. Adamas is up to 50 RBI. Wow. Bullpen could be better. Underwood pulled a back muscle. All right. Max Freed and Lance McCullers. And we win... 10-8. No home runs in the game for us. Ruiz with two steals. Freed got lit, but gets the win. Miller with the save. Four home runs for them. All right, let's save. And then we will jump in <clears throat> and... Hold on. What is this? National League Immaculate Futures game. I don't think I'm going to have anybody on that game. Let's go look. Pizana. Yeah, we have nobody in there. So, we're going to... Jump in here. Full game. First full game of the stream. Astros are wearing that. We're going to wear our baby blues. Closed. Corbin Burns. Valdez is a lefty. He's a little tired. Let's drop him down. Pete Crow. Mayo Kelnick. Mayo's on fire. So what can we do with Mayo? We could move. Move those two. Move you to there. Move you to there. Mayo comes in. Right. Left field, right field, first base. Okay, so. All right, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. First full game of the stream. Oh. You guys are not in the NWO Discord. I posted a link. This guy has a YouTube channel, and he restores old Hot Wheels cars. He finds they're all scratched up and dirty and all that stuff, and he cleans them up, repaints them, uh, customizes them and everything. 
puts him in pristine condition again. Dude's got over a hundred thousand subs and he gets over a hundred thousand people to watch his episodes. So he's, he's making all this money <clears throat> on YouTube while he's doing something as a hobby that he would do anyway. Drop. It's just amazing. There we go. That uh, he's going to get between five and fifteen hundred dollars for that episode. <laughs> Just restoring old Hot Wheels cars, man. It's amazing what people will watch. Wow. Now we're going. <clears throat> I'll take this pitch out of mine being down one, two. There you go. <laughs> Jeez. Just kept breaking in, in, in. I was trying to foul it off. There we go. Now a ground ball past the pitcher or a fly ball, and we're on the board. That was a line shot, but at 97 speed's going to uh, beat that throw every time. I need to trim my mustache. It's driving me absolutely insane. Just missed. Alright, manufacture a run, let's go. Alright, Corbin trying to even his record. He's pitched in some bad luck. was smoked. Just like a statue. He just falls down and doesn't move. He's got no range. Clutch. Yeah, 
What's up, Tight Spot? Thanks for the luck, man. Too many foul balls. It's all right. All that mess, we only gave up one. <clears throat> Ooh, that might be out of here. Deep to the track, to the wall, gone! Phil, Nevin, son, Tyler, Nevin. Is that right? Nevin, a Golden Spikes winner, best college player. My uh, grandmother won a uh, lifetime award from Tops for amateur baseball because she was a treasurer for a local uh, Little League association for decades. And, uh, the year Phil Nevin won his Golden Spikes, he was there, Barry Larkin was there, she got to meet them both, and get autographs and stuff. Had to go to New York City for that. <clears throat> Jammed. Where are we at pitch wise? Am I swinging too much? <laughs> and crawl at the bottom says the Marlins are expected to select Jose Benitez first overall. Not surprised. We were supposed to pick in the top five, but lottery pushed us to eight. What's up, Batten? How you doing? Welcome in. This is our uh, first full game of the stream. We did some player locks. And uh, had one last look at the uh, prospect list for the draft, which we will do immediately after this game. I've got my... Uh, Cheat sheets for the prospects that we have uh, scouted. So keep an eye on them. It's not bad. We're like seven games behind the Rangers, but we're essentially tied with Baltimore for the uh, wild card. Come on, Nevin, get there. The top spot for the wild card. One ball, no Not really uh, expecting to make many changes at the deadline. Um, you can always use a bullpen guy. Um, no, they're actually right behind us in the standings. That's why we're we're playing them head to head because we're uh, we had like a two two and a half game lead on them in the standings. I think they're the third wild card team right now. Jamed myself. Back with swing at the first pitch. Oh, hey, Batten, check this out.
I played the next season for the Cardinals and they beat the Royals in the World Series. And uh, our lefty Chris Cutliffe won the Cy Young. He was 20 and five. We had the best record in baseball with 95 wins. There's only two teams in either league that won 90 plus games. Yeah, we went to three in a row. We should have won three in a row. But um, we, had to, we swept the Braves in the uh, DS. I hit a 460-foot home run with Nolan Gorman to dead center field. Hit the back, back wall of the uh, backdrop. And then the Dodgers, we lost the first two at home and won four in a row. Um, but the Dodgers didn't have Mookie Betts. He was injured and out for the rest of the year. So that that took a bat out of their middle of their, their lineup. So that helped. Yep. I was considering doing something, especially since I have some a lot of late night time. Get there, Kobe. Missed it. Um, no, I haven't heard from anybody at Rawlings. I was a 79th applicant, so they have a lot of a lot of people to go through, so I don't think it's going to be anything quick. Um, if I had gotten that job, there would have been a huge post on Discord. Because that would have uh, eliminated all streaming. <laughs> Wouldn't have time for it. Yeah, Kenny Piper's mom knows a couple of people, rep, bat representatives at Rawlings. So she, uh, I gave her my resume to send to them so they can hopefully talk to someone at Rawlings and see uh, about at least getting me an interview. Not terrible. Must have kept that in the park. Yeah, Damas doesn't play against uh, lefties because he's got terrible, he's got reverse splits. So Ruiz plays short against lefties. He had a grand slam and a five RBI game earlier when we were doing a player lock with Lawrence Butler. But we ended up losing that game in 12. Yeah, Nevin and Senzel get in against lefties because they have great splits. My nose is driving me insane. You get nose hairs colliding with mustache hair and it just drives me batshit crazy. One ball, one strike. As soon as a lefty comes out of the lineup, then I can put Adamas back in. That was not a swing. Completely not a swing. Hey, Batten, you weren't here before. I said uh, earlier that um, I'm uh, taking high screenshots of the uh, outfield seating and walls and all that good stuff, the um, big open areas and where the concessions are and all kinds of shit like that. 
with all of these ballparks. So I have ideas for when I make stadiums myself. Like, look in this area over here. Look at all that shit over there. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna make I'm working on a, a park, a Florida park. Um I'd say it's about seventy five percent done, but doesn't mean I'm hundred percent happy with it. Is that gonna be out of here? Yes it is! Dead center field. Adios, yep, they do. Maybe we get done, I'll hop in there real quick and just show you what it looks like. Still has a lot of work to go. It looks it looks like it's a lot done, but it's not. Um That was off the end of the bat too. Dead center field. Um I'm gonna make another dome stadium. This time for Tampa Bay. Uh, the Florida Park is just, it's uh, its either an outdoor park for Florida, for the, or for Tampa Bay, or just to, uh, just to make, to throw out there on Reddit, just to have in the vault. Um, I'm looking for a new park for Tampa Bay. So I'm going to make an outdoor park, and then make a... Uh, retractable dome like this one like you know I did with Oakland oh swung over it yeah, they're going to have to play at some minor league parks this year, but they should have the, the roof back on the dome for 26. just off on my location this entire game. Right over the middle of the plate. Can't do that. Langleers, that's what we want him for. <laughs> that was like a poo holes home run. That's right, Jimmy. Try it again. It was too close to the other one. Welcome in, man. Look at this. Bam. That was a moon shot. Yeah, that was up on the track. Ah. I'll take this pitch. I should have hammered that here. Yep, that was a pool holes home run. Bam! It went through. It's out of the park. 
out of the park. <laughs> so, Batten, this is what I was talking about. I was I would like zoom up to here and then take a photograph, or zoom over here and take a screen cap so I can see all of that detail, so I can try and create my own version of it in a different ballpark. And we got a back-to-back -back job. <laughs> I got this one, Jimmy. Yep. It went straight through those beams. That's why we brought in Adele. We knew he had power. We needed power bats on this team, especially in our home ballpark. I like, I like these road home runs. Bam. Hanging curveball deposited. <laughs> That's three home runs in the last two. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I miss playing football. But I hate that fucking game. So if I ever decide to reinstall that game and start playing again, it's because I miss playing the game more than I enjoy playing that game. Kind of burned out on 14. But I hate that fucking game. The gameplay, I'm going to say it now. The gameplay is the only thing that matters. And it's not going to be worth a shit until they change to a different engine and get away from animation-based gameplay. That's going to be an extra base hit. They could have just upgraded the uh, graphics for 14 and used that engine, which I know they never would do. The game would be awesome. It's hard to, yeah, it is. I hate having to deal with drags and slants and nothing down the field. And no desire to play Madden. They fucked up NHL. No desire to play basketball or soccer. All right. Couple of home runs. Oh, behind the back. Finally, our pitcher feels the ball like the CPU does. <laughs> mm, just missed. Yeah, I did a Jets franchise... Um, was that Madden 22 or 3? It was a sim. We didn't play. We just simmed. And you just need to look at the uh, the last game of each season. The playoff game for each season. The la very last game. And you'll know why I quit playing Madden. Just watch the last play. Um of both games. You don't need to watch the game. Just watch the last play of both games. That's the ball. Judge hit three home runs. What, on the on the crawl? I didn't see that. Of course, Whitley. This guy's going to pitch the rest of the game for them since he's a starting pitcher. It's 
scroll. Yeah. Ah, why did I swing at that? Oh, Jimmy, you you weren't here before, I don't believe. Check this out. I played the next season for the Cardinals. And we won the World Series again. Beat the Royals in five. <laughs> we clinched at Kansas City like we should have done in 85. And our lefty uh, pitcher that we drafted in the very first draft went 20-5 and five and won the Cy Young. And he... Uh, he got the win in game five. Yep. I was living in Colorado going to college back then, so I missed the 85 and 87 awesome seasons. I wasn't even in town for those. I was out in Colorado. Going to school and sowing my oats. Tell you what, those girls in Colorado were not interested in dating, but they definitely were interested. <laughs> definitely missed the missed the eighties. Big time. Ah Music and, and uh movies and everything was so much better back in the eighties. Before internet, before cell phones. It was awesome. And you actually had to talk to the girls instead of texting them all the time, Snapchatting them. All right, Shay, you went deep last time. Not to the extent they do now, all right? Oh, you hit him. Plus, I love the big hair of the 80s. All right, bases loaded. Come on, Joe. Can you hit two in one game? Oh, way out in front. Oh, he might. It's going to be at least a sack fly. All right, six to two. So here's what I'm considering doing. I'll let you guys give your opinion. Um, I stream and I upload three hour streams over to YouTube. And people will watch. Oh, look at that little flare down the line. And I don't get a ton of views. I mean, who wants to sit through a three hour stream, right? Um, so there's other people like Ant Ortiz for one who will do just sim franchise. They'll they'll play for five years. They'll just make trades, draft, do free agents, all that. Build a team up, see how quickly they can win a World Series and how many they can win in five years, right? And they do it with Yankees. They do it with the Marlins. They do it with, you know, all the teams. So I was considering doing that, like recording that and, and editing all that, like late nights and upload that to YouTube because I can edit that down to like an hour or less. Um, and I can just show the result of the draft. I don't have to go through unless I find, you know, a two-way player or something like that. Um, so show the moves in the offseason, sim through, maybe give an update at the All-Star break, do the draft. Come on. And, uh, but don't do gameplay so that you take me completely out of the equation, especially for pitching. Um, so I have to build the team based on how the game plays in the sim, which is real simple. Hits per nine, walks per nine, the most important thing on pitchers. Clutch doesn't matter. Um, hitters, it's contact, vision, discipline, contact, and power, especially contact and power against righties. Damn it. Hey, 
almost didn't get anybody out. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, yeah, in that Cardinals World Series against the Royals, Cutliffe had a perfect game with one out in the sixth. And then he gave up a hit, and then he ended up giving up three runs. And we gave up three runs on eight hits in the last three and two-thirds innings after having a perfect game for... Five and a third. <laughs> you know how it gets in that rut where it's like, all right, you're just going to give up all these blue pits and gappers and you guys just can't reach it and throw is always just late, that kind of thing. That's that's how it went after they broke up the no-hitter. There we go. Noda, and then we can move Kobe Mayo back to third. No, that I was trying to call timeout, wouldn't let me do it, so. No, he's three for three. Let's bring in Kelnick instead. That's why we do the platoons. Nah, we out in front. No ball, one strike. And we're way out in front of that changeup. Nasty fucking pitch. All right, Lawrence. Three hits with you last time on a player lock game. That changeup is filthy. Way out in front. Haven't been able to touch this guy since he came in. All right, Kobe, your turn. Maybe the right-handed bat will do better. Maybe we made contact.
I'm anxious. I want him to quit fucking around and throw me a pitch over the plate. Vlad Guerrero Jr.'s on a trade block? Oh, man, get foul. Of course not. He goes out and flips that all the way down in the corner. We don't have some prospects that are tradable for some of these big-name guys, so we, we can't go crazy. Well, I wouldn't mind going crazy a little bit, but... That was too high over the middle of the plate. The only thing I'm shocked about that it didn't go out of the park. Six outs to go. Then we can get to the draft. As soon as this game's over, we'll go to the draft. This is always the busiest month stream that we do, other than the off season. And then once we get through this one, then it's like, how fast can we get through August and September so we can get to the playoffs? Those are the two months that I enjoy doing the least, probably, especially August. Backed up on me. As soon as I swung, I knew I missed it. Hey, Batten, another thing about the uh, stadium creator is they have all these signs all over the place, but they're they're not... They need more variety on the size of each one. There should be like eight different sizes for each one. And some of them have lights attached to them so you can't use them or they have legs so that they're supposed to stand and it's just, it's not fun. <sighs> need to redo the entire thing. 
the the curve behind home plate doesn't match the curve on the uh, stands. There's always a gap. It's like it, the it's it's it goes out more. It's not a flat. It needs to be a flatter curve. It's just a pain in the ass. You can tell they put minimal effort effort into it. And then they add shit that are like destroyed buildings and monsters and all that crap they did, they did last year and in Diamond Dynasty. Um, I think he needs to come out of the game. 112 pitches. Um, let's see. Well, how about a yellow home run line all the way around the outfield wall? That should be default in the game. Foul lines painted on the wall, and the yellow line all the way around should be in the game. And let us put ads on the wall. Let us put scoreboards on the wall. There's no... See, this, see the ads behind home plate? There are no ads behind home plate and created... It's it's uh, it's terrible. Flags? How about more flags than the American flag and the Pride flag? Those are the only two flags in the game. There's no team flags. There's no like. They need to put retired numbers in circles, right? They can. They don't have to be like. They can just be white, white and black, so that they you don't have to worry about them matching your team colors. But there's no way to uh, do your own retired numbers. It's it's uh, it's terrible. Definitely created by someone who doesn't play the game and doesn't know how to uh, make ballparks. Give us the same fucking tools that they have for creating these stadiums. Yeah, they should. <laughs> they should. All right. Off to the ninth inning. Four-run lead. See if we can up that a little bit. Definitely should, uh, they, there was a guy, there was a, a group that would do full minor leagues on their own rosters. And they got the guy who was in charge of that. They hired him away and then they don't even use him to do the minor leagues in their game because their minor league ratings in the game are ass. They're terrible. With their, their broken regression and progression system. They don't get high enough, quick enough. You'd have to make everybody, every top 100 prospect would need to be at least an A prospect for them to get up high enough, fast enough. Rooker with another hit. That's his third. Yeah, I don't, I'm not so big on sponsorships, but if you want to put them on there, be my guest. I want a third uniform slot I want alternate uniforms you know we don't need six or seven uniforms but let me have an alternate so that on this particular team I could go with pinstripe pants and a dark blue jersey then I could wear the dark blue at home or on the road I could wear the pinstripes at home or on the road I could have the dark blue jersey with the baby blue pants. You know what I mean? Now we're just flipping hits right and left. What a throw. All right, Jared. We had a really good stream with you last time. I really think we're going to end up taking a pitcher with that first pick. Just because there's so many pitchers around that, that mark, and I don't think we're going to get 
one of the best hitters. And it's not like that class has generational players in it. I didn't see one hitter that was remotely close to being a generational player. Like, even the catcher that we were looking at is, is going to be, like, in the low Bs and in, in the mid-60s, like, 80 to 84 is his potential and 60 to 65 is his overall. Um, yeah. Definitely need to challenge more plays. I would challenge 90% of the throws down the second base on stolen base attempts. Good pitch. I was impatient. I was tired of standing there watching him throw shit. All right. Doesn't matter who we bring in. So let's bring in the new guy. Pitch with him. See if I like his motion. Let's get Reggie Jackson's old number. Gonna stand there and take it. He had a home run earlier. I might have to look at Drew Rasmussen with Tampa Bay and see what it would cost us to get him. Get there, Joe. Hey, Joe. Oh, hey, guys, on my uh, high school side, I refed two state champions this year. Not the championship matches, but the during the year. All right. I did this just for the Cardinals, but I'm going to use it for all of them going forward. Three hits for Nevin, three hits for Rooker, two for Esty. Home runs by Langliers, two by Nevin. I didn't realize Nevin hit two. And Adele. Langliers' home run went, went out of the ballpark completely. Ruiz with two steals. Burns is eight and eight now. That was a good game. We're going to play a game against the Rangers at home. And that'll be our last game, uh, full game in the stream. So now we're going to jump into the draft. And go to the draft. All right. Add prospects. Go to scouted. And we'll just put them in the order that they have them. Doesn't mean that's the order we're going to settle on for drafting them. I need to look at those last two pitchers that we were scouting and didn't get a full two to three weeks out of. All right, so who was it? It was this guy. And Abdul, yeah. He could be anywhere in that range. At least his hits per nine are decent. All the other per nines are kind of, eh. All those pitches, though. And this was the other dude. His hits per nines are, yeah, but his strikeouts and walks are good. 
All right. So he's clearly the best pitcher in the class. He's 22. His only downfall is his home runs. He's like MLB ready. Troy Hobbs, I'm looking at him with that number 39 pick. If he's there when we get to 39, I'm taking him. Mason Miller is is young. I don't know what his clutch is, so he may not be a good closer, but he would be a good reliever. Um, so that would give us some youth in the bullpen. And depending on what his, what his overall and his potential is, he might even be up with the team next year. We'll see. We looked at these two catchers, already talked about them. This guy's probably 80 to 85 on his potential, and overall is going to be somewhere probably in the low 60s. So not bad, but he does not have power, and he's got good fielding but not a great arm. And this guy, great fielding, but decent hitter, not much power. These guys are nothing special. This guy's got good defense and good power, but he's not going to be very high overall. Same thing with this guy. He'll be lucky if he's not a C potential. He's going to be a C potential. This guy's guaranteed to be at least a B. Guaranteed to be a B, period. He'll be somewhere, but he's going to be in the... So he's like 85 with 55. So at 21 years old, a 55 overall is not usable. This guy, if he drops, we will take him. He is a typical leadoff hitter. And he's 6'2". Dude with speed and 6'2". He wants $9 million. Um, this guy's nothing special. He's nothing special. His hits per nine keeps him from being one on my board. His per nines are not great either. He's clearly one. Troy Hobbs is a reliever. This guy, <clears throat> he's better than Ornelas, so I would take Rodriguez. I, uh, hold on, so. Row, Reigns, Reigns isn't bad. Hinkle's good, I like Hinkle. Um... Cordova is probably going to have a limited upside. So you can see right there above my head, we pick 8 and 39 because we have two first-round picks. Uh, the 39 is a competitive balance pick. Then 46, 82, 112, 142, 172. We were supposed to have the fifth pick, but because of the lottery, we dropped to 8. But we only dropped to 8 in the first round. So... All right, let's see how this goes. Marlins go first, Colorado second, Detroit and the White Sox, Arizona, Tampa Bay, Washington, and us. No, you can't trade draft picks. Baseball's the only one you can't do that in. So we pick eight there. Um, promotion incentive, so they must have had a rookie do really well, so they got an extra pick. So they pick at 28 and 31. And then these are competitive balance. So these are the teams that don't generate a lot of uh, revenue. And then we come back and pick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know why we thought we picked five. And we got some more competitive rounds in here. This one's because these guys lost draft picks. Or they lost free agents, so they get an extra second round pick. So that's where we are. All right, let's get started. First pick of the draft. It's going to be Jose Benitez. It is. No shocker there. Best pitcher. Now the fun part begins, because you never know who's going to go here. Jack Goss, the catcher, the second catcher we had listed. Okay. <clears throat> so B potential in the low 60s, but he's 21. 
So that takes care of one of our catchers. And Levi Westbrook, we didn't even we didn't even scout him. Most because I was worried about his overall being too low. All right. Brooke Roth, that's one of the two guys that we scouted late. Okay. Dustin Pena. Tampa Bay takes the center fielder. All right, so that takes him off our board. So we're definitely going to take... I don't think I'm taking a catcher. I think I'm taking a pitcher. They took this guy who's probably a C. Oh, okay. So we got four minutes here. So I will take him later. I'm not going to take him right now because his hits per nine are terrible. It's absolutely terrible. He will not do well in the sim. Flores, if he comes in on the higher end, that would be good. Hobbs, I'm not taking right now. Um, he's not rated, so we could probably get by not taking him now, get him later. Rowe, he's a lefty, only has three pitches. I don't like that. Reigns has four pitches, 74, 93. Hinkle's better because his overall could be higher. Looks 52, 71, 56, 75, 56, 75. He's got the best Cordova. He's 18. He's probably just a B. So he'll have a high floor, low ceiling. Oh. Got to change that two-seamer to a sinker, though. And he's got really good stamina, too. That's helpful. So you don't actually accidentally take a uh, relief pitcher. Here's the catcher. Like I said, he can hit. He can feel, but he can't throw. He doesn't have a ton of power. This guy's going to have a low overall. All right. I don't like his hits per nine. His is a little bit low. 48 to 67. I think Dante Hinkle. I'm hoping one of these two. Well, Hobbs we're going to take, hopefully, in the at the 39, provided one of those other guys don't snake him. So it comes down to Flores, Flores and Hinkle. Flores throws harder. We got a chance that Flores would last longer. And Reigns. We're going to take Dante Hinkle. All right, let's see where they go. Who gets snatched? There goes Reigns. So that was one of the other guys we were considering. Both 18-year-olds. Hinkle has a chance to be higher overall right off the rip, though. Didn't scout Jason McNeil. He knows what he is. Abdul Slade goes to the Cardinals. Wish I could have finished scouting him. Hinkle's probably going to be better. Cordova. He's the guy that had the high floor or low ceiling. Because he's probably not going to hit A potential. Wow. That guy went in the first round. Yeah, I would love to have had this guy right here. And the catcher we passed on goes to the Reds. Okay. To check him out. Didn't scout Richie Bridges. The Royals take Gary Bridges. 
low hits per nine. Chance Tata, save the Tatas. His overall range, though, from 48 to 67, you're probably looking at a high 50s. I didn't want that. Didn't scout him. This guy's terrible. He's all defense. Can't hit for shit. The Mets. They took this guy who's going to be a solid B, but he's going to be in the 50s at 21 years old. So he won't be usable until he's like 26. Enrique Castro. Good five pitch mix. And they're still like 47 to 66. Hinkle is 56 to 75. So Will Morgan. I wish I had time to scout him. This guy's a switch hitter and he mashes righties. Freddie Walker. Would have been nice to scout him out more. He's 21 years old, though. Looks like he's going to be at least a B. Could be an A. Man, I wish I had more time. Andres Lopez. Bad hits for nine. Terrible strikeouts. This guy. Oh, the first reliever goes. Okay. Please don't take my guy. This guy's a C in the 60s. Fisher Carnets. He was a guy we could have taken later, but again, probably not a low B maybe. Phillies. Will Low. Not bad. A lot of pitches. Like when they have a lot of pitches. Max Heller. He's all over the place. All right, let's see what Boston does here. Thomas Marcus. They took a reliever. Looks pretty good. All right, we have seven picks. Cross your fingers that Mr. Hobbs doesn't go. And now here go the relievers and the closers. Johnny Bootner. This hits per nine. I wasn't going to take him at eight. Diego Nunez. There's another reliever. Oh, man. Please leave my closer alone. Please. Thank you. Leave him alone. Hal Phelps, another reliever. Stick with the relievers. Stay away from the closers. Troy Hobbs. Not Roy Hobbs. Troy Hobbs. Damon Dalton. Shitty center fielder. Can't hit. All right, two more picks. Come on, Reds. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mariano Trevino, starting pitcher. Not great. There it is. Cross him. Cross him. No, no Hobbs. No Hobbs. No Hobbs. Darren Gunn, all right. We're going to run up to the stand and take the uh, closing pitcher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to take him eighth overall, but I'll take him right now. Probably going to be the highest rated guy we draft. Yeah. And now we got seven more picks and we get another guy. Let's see what happens here. It's going to be another one of these starting pitchers. Probably going to take pitchers the rest of the way. Alex Valenzuela. Oof. The Rockies. Gary Eichinger. He's all over the board. Depends on where he hits. He could be good. He could be shit. Bates. Another reliever. Not very good. All right. Three more picks. Miguel Quezada. He was on our list. He was on the list, but he wasn't our number one guy. Ronnie Gomez, the center fielder. 99 four-seamer, 98 two-seamer. 91 mile an hour changeup. Jesse Hamilton. All right, on to us. So, 
We got Ornelas, who's got shitty hits per nine. His per nines outside of strikeouts are terrible. He's got a lot of pitches. Flores. Not taking row. Iwamura doesn't have as high an upside as some of these right, so not taking him because of his hits per nine. He's got 40 to 59. Flores looks... I still got three minutes. There's no hitters. It's all going to be pitchers the rest of the way. Um, all right. So it's one of these two. And we pick again at 82. So if we take Flores, does Rodriguez last? They're both 18. Rodriguez looks like he has a higher floor right to start is overall is going to be no less than a 54. I think I'm going to take the guy he throws a little bit harder and has a chance for a higher starting overall since he's 18 years old. All right. Not Alex Rodriguez, but Alexis Rodriguez. All right. If the other guy's there, if Flores is there on our pick, we'll take him. And Ornelas, it might come down to those two. We'll see. Rory Harvey. This guy's overrated. He's going to have a higher um, overall than his potential. Rivero. Throws hard. Throws a lot of pitches, but that hits per nine. That's why I'm staying away from Ornelas. Riley Salazar. Iwamura. It might come down to these two. Manny Quezada. This guy could be good. It could be shit. This guy is a guaranteed... It's probably a low A, in, but he's going to be in the 50s. And he's 21, so he's gonna, so he's gonna be about a 58 and about a 90 something. So he's gonna be an A potential, but he's gonna be in the 50s and take forever. There goes another closer, shortstop. Right fielder that can hit, can't play defense. Here's one of the uh, lower overall. Yeah, we got a bunch of extra picks before it gets to us, so who knows what we're going to be left with. All right. Johan Guardado. Some defense and pop. I didn't scout him all the way. Looked like he was going to be a C potential, so I quit scouting him. This guy's overall and his potential are going to be really close together. This guy looks like he could be a high B or an A. Can hit the shit out of the ball. Can't hit for power, but he can hit the shit out of the ball. Would have been nice to scout him better. Not that we need a first baseman, though. That's probably why I didn't bother, because we have so many first basemen. 6'5", 220. I could have moved him to the outfield, but he doesn't have the power I'm looking for. This guy's hurt. Dudek. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We get almost twenty picks before us. J Chu. It's gonna have a high potential and a low overall. Not a good combination. Danny Aguila or Darren Aguila. Yeah, C starting pitcher. <laughs> he can pitch right away. Franklin Callahan. Nothing well above average. 23 years old, high B in the 60s. Wouldn't have been a bad pick. I just had too many of these guys in this range that I didn't have time to go scout. There goes Ornelas, so we do not get him. That takes him out of consideration, and that's fine because his hits per nine are so bad. Escalana goes away. Another low hits and walks. Hits per nine and walks per nine are the biggest thing in Sim. So considering we uh, we Sim more than we play, it uh, makes it much, much better if they can hold their own in the Sim. So this guy's a C in the 60s. All right, 10 more picks. Billy Monroe. High C. Baroa, we didn't scout. Doesn't do much but speed. Quinones. Nothing special. All right. Looks like one of these two guys. Ikea. Henry Ikea. Comes with his own locker room pre-built. Irving Stinson. All right, four more picks. Dave Gowdy. All right. Flores and Iwamura. Here goes Mark Johnson. Overrated. All right. Flores Iwamura. They took Chassin. All right, we're going to get one of our two guys. Which one is it? Survey says. All right, we get the pick. Yeah, he'll last. So he won't last. He probably won't last. All right, so he's 18. He's 18. He's got a higher upside. He's a, he's probably a B. And he's probably a middle B. I'm going to take this guy. We'll see if the other guy lasts. If he doesn't, that's fine. I wanted uh, an 18-year-old that was a little closer to getting up to the majors. May not have quite as high of uh, potential, but a little bit better starting point. Does everything pretty good. Four seam, two seam curve and change. All right, let's just, all right, Flores is who we were looking for. So let's skim ahead. And Flores is gone. Where did he go? He went to the Reds. All right, so Darren Walls, terrible home runs per nine. Valencia, low hits per nine. Yeah, this guy right here. Hits per nine are good. His strikeouts are not high. Don't care. If we use her with him, we'll get more strikeouts. Yeah, 
He's the one that has the best. He's he's got a little bit higher his home run. He's got ugh. he's got much better hits per nine. All right, Quiroz. Pedro Reyes again strikeouts and home runs per nine yeah I'm gonna take this guy Pedro Reyes it's 22 so a little older And any hitters still out here? Possibly. Del Viar is power. This guy's got a lot of contact and fielding. I don't have a whole lot of time. He's got the power and the defense. He's a switch hitter. Let's take this guy. He doesn't have to play first base. We can move him. Carter Sweeney. At this point, it's a crapshoot. It doesn't matter. We got an extra player. I didn't need another pitcher, so I'm like, let's just go see anybody that has any blue showing up that we didn't scout. We'll take a shot on him. And as much as I want power with this team, um, I have found that if you have very high contact, um, you will hit home runs with those players, um, and they will help you more because they'll get more base hits. They'll still hit bombs. So if you have like 80 contact and 60 power is better than 60 contact and 80 power. So, all right, we are done with the draft. So go back through. All right, so we need to look at Marshall Coley. We know he was good, best player in the draft. We had no chance to get, we, we thought we did, but we had no chance to get him. So Coley, I would like to know what he was. Reigns, Slade, Burden, Tata. Uh, Morgan. Who's the other guy? Um, Flores with the Reds. All right. Let's sim this game. And are we in the home run derby? Let's not play in this park. I hate this park. Hey, Batten, you still in here? Let's do something fun. <laughs> Let's do something fun. Which ballpark do you want me to do the home run derby in? Which one of my parks are we going to use to do the home run derby? I didn't make those two parks. This is the one I'm working on right now. Windy City? All right, we'll do Windy City. This one. There we go. And we're not in it. Oh, fuck. How did we miss out? How did we miss out? We had more home runs than Soto. All right, never mind. We're not going to play the home run derby. Fuck them. Let's go look at this box score. We won nine nothing. Three hit shut. Adamas, Mayo, and Kelnick with home runs. Luis Garcia, three hit shutout. We had twenty three home runs. 
We had more home runs than Santander and Soto. I guess they're going to take four from each from each league. All right, I can understand that, but that still sucks. Brian, woo! Woo! No, it's fun. Um. Miller? Miller made the all-star team. I guess the star will tell you for sure. All these guys are hot. Ryan Jeffers made it. Vlad Guerrero, Nathaniel Lowe, Xavier Isaac, Colt Keith, Michael Garcia, Bobby Witt. Rooker has to be on the team. Lawrence Butler might be on the team. All right. Advance. Auto utilize. Skip the All-Star game. American League won. So if we get to the World Series, we have home field. Don't think that's happening. JT Ginn's back. All right. Let's go look at our picks. Hinkle was the first player we drafted this guy right here 65 235 dude is three inches sorry two inches taller than me same weight he's basically my size doesn't sign not surprising troy hobbs does sign Alexis Rodriguez does sign. Quiraz signs. Iwamura signs. Pedro Reyes doesn't sign. Carter Sweeney. It'll be interesting to see where he falls on that spectrum. He is a switch here, though, so that's good. This guy could be complete trash. And he doesn't sign. All right. Yeah, Garrett Crochet's been on the trading block forever. Quit telling me. All right. Any relievers we are interested in? No. Greater all strikeouts are low. Why are they trading him? He's their that's their closer. Best is low strike as per nine. Tanner Scott is going down. I don't know why I keep yawning so much on camera. All right. All right. We're going to play this game right here. Max Fried and Nathan Eovaldi. So Estes and DeGrom. We lose two to one. Kelnick, our only run. Estes pitched well. Right. Spence and Bradford. Shota Imanaga traded to the Giants for Logan Webb, Lamont Wade, and Camilo Duvall. What a trade. Wow. That's a lot to give up. Jacob Young goes to the Royals for Ben Cardinal. Carson Rocaforte and Eric Pena. Nothing special. Nick Allen ought to do that. Draft picks. All right, win 9-3 to three in that game. Ruiz, Rooker, Sinzel, and Nevin with home runs. Nevin with four RBI. Spence gets the win. I don't know why Underwood got the save and not Miller. All right, let's offer these guys again. Nope. Hinkle doesn't sign. Reyes signs. Sweeney doesn't sign. Okay. 
Sweeney doesn't sign, I don't care. All right, let me save, and then we'll go play this full game. Hey, at least we got some good young pitchers for the uh, minor leagues. We needed some more guys, guys with B potential, so I'm excited. We've we've got we need a shortstop, a catcher, and pitchers. So we're still looking for a shortstop and a catcher. Might have to trade for the young catcher, but we're still looking. Um, all right. All right, last. Last full game of the stream. We'll uh, go back down to double A and do a player lock with Fiori. Do some more player lock with these guys while we try and get these last two guys signed. And we get to the trade deadline. We'll look around and see what's there. And if we don't sign anybody... It is what it is, right? Nice day game here at home. Good start, good start. Just missed. Gave us a, a B rating on Iwamura, a C plus on Kiraz. C plus on Reyes. Let's see what it gives us on the last guy. It's foul. A D. Yeah, whatever. At that point, it was just a crapshoot anyway, so. I do like this part. Rosario has not hit for as high an average as I thought he would with his contact ratings. Pro Armstrong, come on, PCA. Oh, way out in front. Just trying to fight that off. Hit a little bit further than I expected.
Yeah. Tardy. Fucking tardy. There we go. Down. You gonna get a double? Nope. Doesn't have the speed. Ball kind of died out there. All right, Adamas. Just a grand slam in the sim. Get out of fucking play. Go. I hate how big the foul territory is in this game. With these created stadiums. Just absolutely needs to be half as much. Let me pay attention to the crawl again and see if it brings up our draft pick ratings. Ah! Swing under it. Totally dipped my piece. Let's see. Here. PCI. Sorry. Didn't I crow Armstrong. Hey, Nola gave up one hit. Heat. Can you catch up? <laughs> He's a day and a half in front of that pitch. <laughs> you like that so much? How about a double dip? Smokes it right to the second baseman that time. on Petey. There we go. That's why we got you in here for your legs. And it's gone. He pulls an up and away fastball. Right down the line. Pulls it down the line. Fastball up and away. There's not a fucking chance in the world. He pulls that pitch. Hardy. Good swinging at every pitch. Need some food. Need some dinner. Not swing at this pitch.
Meh. In the dirt. All right, Don Hinkle's a B plus. Troy Hobbs is an A minus. You knew he'd be better. Rodriguez is a B plus. So the first three picks were good. Iwamura's a B. I'm wondering if that's actually their real potential. Ah. Not getting there. Oh, come on. Fucking wild pitch allows him to score. I hate this game. One thing I will do, if I don't call him before then, we're bringing up um, Soderstrom for the September call-ups for sure. Probably bring JT Ginn back up and stick him in long relief. And Soderstrom gives us a third catcher and another first baseman. Noda can play outfield too. Michael Bush to the Astros. Spencer Aragetti.
by him. There we go. Thank you for the raid, V Dub. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. College football. How are you enjoying college football? Because y'all know how much I hate it. <laughs> ah. I do miss playing football. I don't miss playing that game. Ah, quit chasing the fucking garbage. Two and zero, classic three to nothing game. Wow, you're not exactly enjoying it either. And you guys haven't streamed NWO in forever because every time I try to watch you guys, it disconnects. Fuck. Can't believe we only got one out of that whole mess. Last second field goal, three nothing. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. I assumed you played all the plays, because if you simmed it all, the other team would have had more than zero. Because <laughs> the sim is broken. You gotta play defense the entire fucking game, and I hate playing defense at all. See if I can get him to chase this bitch. Not when you throw it there. Can Kobe get there? Oh, get out of the fucking way, umpire. Umpire kept me from getting a foul ball. God damn it. Gave up a hit because a fucking umpire ran into me. God. All right. Didn't give up any extra runs. When I was playing that game. It felt very repetitive, the entire thing. The recruiting, the offseason. Couldn't get a job at a bigger school. Every drive was the same way. I could run the ball down their throat, but I couldn't throw the ball where they shit. Unless it was a jet sweep or a drag or a slant. Anything over the middle or down the sideline is going to get picked, no matter what. Fuck. And I turned off the uh, the injury thing. It's not implemented the best way. Damn it. Come on, man. See the pitches you're trying to hit. Be interested if they uh, came out with a new college basketball game. That would be... That would be something, but there are so many freaking college basketball teams. I don't know if they would want to 
make rosters for that many players. Just blew it by him chest high. Oh, yeah, I'm sure people would buy it. It's one of those things you got to release it like October, November. So by the time, <clears throat> by the time the uh, tournament rolls around in real life, um, they've been playing it already and they're excited. Yeah, and Bat and I never play the All Star game. Even if we had, yeah, I never play the All Star game. I don't care. Fuck. God damn it! Get two strikes and then he just raked the shit out of the ball. Don't know. Um, I'm sure Rooker did and Butler might have. Mason Miller, those are the guys that probably made the team. We can check by going to their player card. How the fuck did he hit that pitch that far? I have uh, CPU fouls, foul balls turned down too. I have it turned down. Doesn't matter. That's how it pushes your pitch count up. You could never throw a 70 pitch complete game because they'll foul off eight balls at least once per inning. Oh, you're doing great pitch count-wise here. Let's foul everything off. I've learned if you have an 0 and 2 count, just waste a pitch up above, you know, up above the zone, and uh, don't don't let them just keep fouling off 0-2 pitches. Yeah, this guy is throwing garbage. Throw me a fastball. Getting hangry. Yeah. 
Yeah, the, the uh, NFL wants the Chiefs to go undefeated and try to get their third in a row. So everybody will watch to see if they go undefeated and do something no one other team in uh, Super Bowl era has done, and that's win three in a row. And they're going to have them play the Lions. That's my uh, rigged prediction. Lions, Chiefs, and uh, Chiefs trying for an undefeated season and three in a row. Because that will generate the most news and interest. NFL is not classified as a sport. It's classified as entertainment. Trying to save my bullpen by not um, bringing somebody in in the fifth inning. Got him. There we go. Rebound off the pitcher to the catcher. One, two, three. We got all that one. How far did that go? 431. Never saw it come down. This will be his last inning. Fuck out of my way. Yeah, I don't want to see his home run. Man, I throw it down the middle, they hit it 430 feet. They throw it down the middle and I don't even get it to third base bag. <laughs> I just want this game over with. One ball, no strike. It's going to get caught. Mm. 
And lucky that ball stayed in the park. Here we go. Painted. Fuck you. Do I watch the Blues still? Um, occasionally. Not like I used to. I used to never miss a Blues game. Never miss a Cardinals game. Since COVID, I don't give a fuck about pro sports. I only follow the NFL for fantasy sports reasons. If I ever stop playing fantasy football, I'll never watch them again. <laughs> I stopped watching the NBA. I don't watch golf nearly as much as I used to. Baseball, all of them. I don't. I watch YouTube more than anything else. Not even YouTube TV, just videos that uh, small content creators put out. I do miss hitting dingers with Corey with the Rockies. I'm tired and I'm hungry, so I want this game over with. I have been playing my Cardinals franchise off camera for the better part of two days. I had to play every single playoff game. So that's 14 games. And they take about an hour each, right? Need to pull a Jimmy and stand up while I play. My back's killing me. One and two. I push the wrong button so he didn't advance. <sighs> Do you love me a high fastball? That's still play. <clears throat> I think I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of batting. Yeah, I did have a good draft. I need to uh, take a screenshot of our draft picks again for the thumbnail. Ah! Fucking change ups kill me. Ugh, that was a splitter. Come on. Sugar Shea, let's see if you can hit a home run like you did at Houston when you hit it out of the park. Take that hit. Yeah, I think Noda's done. We might have to trade him in the offseason and let La Soderstrom play first base. I don't want to go hog wild right now and make a huge rash of trades at the deadline. Kind of incrementally building this team up right now. I mean, the first year we just simmed so we could move the team, right? And this is our first full year of playing, so we can uh, reevaluate in the off season and see. I mean, we added Burns and Adamas and Freed. They've been, uh, I'd say, C plus B minus with those three guys. They haven't killed us, but they haven't really helped us a ton. I mean, I guess the pitchers helped us because we're not using guys in the low 70s 
but uh, the record doesn't reflect it. Let's get Muller out of this game. Six four three, thank you very much. All right. Almost beat it. There we go. I'm just trying to get outs, guys. I'm tired of playing. Tired of playing. Get done. I'm going to make dinner, and then I'm going to run to Sam's, get some gas, get some burgers, get some mixed nuts. I think there's a couple more things. Got to get a crown, put on a back tooth in the morning, and then a haircut after that. Well. Tomorrow's laundry day. Ball, that's outside. Three more college matches on Friday and Saturday to officiate. And then my fall Ball, season it. is over. Totally missed my spot. Yeah. High school's done. College will be done tomorrow and Saturday. Pick up the wall, motherfucker. Got him. Oh, come on. We're just getting our shit pushed in this game. Let's get done hitting. <laughs> I go from that loaded Cardinals team to this team. It's uh, almost night and day, not quite. Oh, it just snuck over. It's 20th of the year. I made that wall that high so the, they wouldn't have so many wall scrapers. They would actually hit the wall. And that one just made... And they can't rob the, the home run. There you go, Jimmy. They can't rob the home run because they can't jump over that wall. 
Let's see where this outfielder is. It's like 10 or 11 foot high out there. Yeah. You can't steal it. Totally pulled off. That's fine. Whatever. Hey, Jimmy. Batten and Jimmy. Should I, uh... Should I change Troy Hobbs' name to actually say Roy Hobbs? Except he won't be... He won't be the uh, Roy Hobbs from the movie batting. He'll be Roy Hobbs from the movie pitching. There we go. Kobe with a home run. We only need six more solo homers. No, that's down. Ball. I just want to make sure we didn't hit no double play. Ah, don't chase. Yeah, that was a shitty pitch. Man, that's ball game. All right, that's finally done. I need to get a screenshot of uh, all of our draft picks. Yeah, I don't need to see this garbage. The Astros 10 0, five hit shutout. Ruiz with a home run, Rooker with two home runs and six RBI. Five hit shutout for Corbin. And we win four to three. Tucker and Myers with home runs. And we already did a player lock here. Let's go down to double A.
do our first round pick from last year, hitting 310. Maybe that's a nasty backdrop. I hate the sun on there. It's going to be hard to pick up. Yeah, can't see it. Cannot see it. It's not as bad as playing at uh, Minnesota, but it's not good. Should just make it overcast every time. Safe. Out. Oh, got hold of that one, but yak it foul. Get down, get down. Fuck. That's gone. Get the fuck out of here. Sixteenth of the year. It's gonna spend this whole year down in uh, Double A. Next year we'll spend the uh, start of the year at Triple A. You never know, we might need them ourselves up in the majors. Can definitely crush lefties. Hit another one? He might have hit another one. Yes, he did. Was off a righty this time. I need to take. I need to uh, get a picture of him. Uh, time out. Trying to get a thumbnail, that's all. Got the dub. Thank you. There you go. Two for five. Two home runs. Four RBI. 17 home runs and 63 RBI. And 
John Hess is doing well. I need to look at him. One sixty two. Wow. Peter Finch is killing it. His hits per nine are terrible, though. There's no way I would bring him up to the majors. He'll get crushed. Brody Brecht is doing well. Hurts. Still one to two weeks. 256. Triple A's in first place. And we're five and a half games back. Number one wild card. Look at that. 60 wins. Dodgers are 70 and 34. And we lose four, 12 to 4. Jesus. Estes got pounded. So did Muller. You have anybody left? Yes. Signs when we give him $5 million. And he signed. All right. Everybody is signed. <clears throat> what do we got extension wise? Sinzel, Sears, Yarborough, Diaz. See if we can get him signed. Give him two years. 2.2. There we go. Rest of them I don't care about. McClanahan still on a trade block. See, we don't have enough for McClanahan because I'm not trading Mason Miller. Um, what do you want from Matt McClain? Max Fried and Kurtz, no. Perkins, Danny Jansen, Joey Estes. Nolan, Nolan, Nolan. Um, do, 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 do. Don't see anything. He's two and a half million. He's pitching down triple A. A D potential starting pitcher. That's all you want. That would solve our catcher problem. That's why they want Noda, because Freddie's 35 and regressing, making 27 million. 
Why would I help the Dodgers by giving them something young and cheap? He's good defensively. His uh, vision, discipline, and clutch are terrible, though. I mean, shit. All right. Soderstrom's a 73A. If I move him back to catcher... He's a 76A. Let's play our lock in this game. We're just going to do some player locks through here, and then we will hop on out and uh, be done for the day. Let's let's do Willie. Trades at the trade deadline. Yeah, I'm, I'm we could get the catcher. For Noda. And bring up Soderstrom to play first base. But he's actually one of those he hits lefties better than righties, so I don't know. I could probably make oh see this is why we don't play in Minnesota during the day. Can't see the ball. I cannot see the ball. You tell me where the ball is. Can't see it. Literally can't see it. It's unacceptable, e, um, EA. <laughs> I know it's San Diego. I'm going to call them EA when they fuck up. I'm just going to stand here and take. I'm not going to swing the bat. I can't see the ball. That's why I will not play a franchise with the Twins, because you can't fucking see. I literally can't see the ball. <laughs> All I did was swing the bat. I like timed his pitch and just swung the bat. <laughs> I didn't move it left or right, up or down. I just pushed the fucking button. And he hits it 437 on the screws. <laughs> Oh my god. I guess I don't need to see it, right? <laughs> oh man. Now I can see. All right. Now I dip the PCI. I'm just going to leave my PCI in the middle and swing. I think you got enough of that one. <laughs> it's 12 to 2. 12 to 3. It was 3 nothing. Now it's 12 to 3. Oh. I could go out and make a bunch of trades and get a bunch of, you know, late 20s, early 30s pitchers and we could we could win i could go sign a bunch of free agents we don't have a huge payroll that we can sign everybody it's 
just get through the season. We're in the playoffs, right? We'll just, we'll just. I mean, I could go trade for Vladdy Guerrero, I guess, since they're offering him up. But I, I still don't think I have enough. Unless I want to trade Mason Miller. Guess we need to find out how good this closer is that we drafted, right? I need his clutch to be high. If his clutch is like 85. But we won't know until after their deadline. They do not show you their clutch at all. Which they should for both hitters and pitchers. I don't know why they don't. Come on. All right, we lost. Jesus. Sandlin, Muller, our bullpen is killing us. Eleven run fifth inning. I'm just gonna sim. Ryan Walker goes to the Pirates for Harrington, Siani, and Hearn. And we win three to two. Butler and Mayo with home runs. Freed, 10 Ks. Rebounds after a couple of really bad starts. Mason Miller's 28th. Yeah, we're not going to uh, play lock in this game. And we lose 11 to one. So we got blown out in two of the games. Two errors gave up five unearned runs. Kyle Harrison got called up. Not sure why he wasn't up already. I don't know why they have to continually tell us that Garrett Crochet is on the trade block. And he's not even showing up here anymore. I'd love to get McLean. Well, they're not going to do that. All-star. Oh, that reminds me we should go look at our all-stars, right? Yelich. Look at that contract. <laughs> 34, 35, 36. 35 million at 37 years old regressing. And they got him up for trade. Kurtz is hurt. Notice hitting 279 with 11 and 38. He is not hitting. Soderstrom is hot. 290. We could call Soderstrom up and just let him play every day. He's up to an A potential. His potential went up. All right. We're doing it right now. Dalton rushing for Ryan Noda. They they want to give us they want us to they want to give us a little bit more? Really? Give me a little bit more. You get that B potential. It's only a fifty one though. Tom Hanna. 18. If they want to give them to us, I'll take it. So Ryan Noda for those two guys. 
What else do they have a catcher? They have Diego Cartaya. He hits lefties better. They still have Will Smith, and he's got... Look at that contract. <laughs> 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 36, 38. He'll be making $14 million when he's 38. And they want Noda because Freddie is regressing, and he's old. I have fucking Cam and Arrow. They don't have a shortstop, so they're playing Cam and Arrow at short. If we give him Nick Allen, we'd have to take $9 million on. Look at Chris Taylor. He's down to a 58. Making 15 million. <laughs> wow. They will make this deal. Dalton rushing. He's already 23. Great defense, though. He could replace McCann. Hell, we could send McCann down to AAA. Not this year. That would be next year. I'm going to make this deal. I'm going to get a catcher so we don't have to draft one. And that will bring Soderstrom to the majors. So I just need to get a, a AAA first baseman. which we could probably trade Jordan Diaz and get a pretty pretty good young first baseman below Kurtz. What else do we have at first base? Do you have any B potentials that are young we could trade for? To go behind Kurtz? There's Manzardo. They would trade Manzardo for Diaz. He's 24. He's got options. Can only play first base, though. All right. Any other options? Ryan Clifford? Nope. Yeah, it'd be perfect for our park. He moved up to an A potential. Wow. Got any left fielders we can move to first base? See, this is the problem I have. There's not enough players in the lower levels to, to be worth a shit.
Maybe go get Jordan Walker. Put him at first base, right? Already did that once, right? Mr. Tibbs. We could always just move Jordan Diaz the first. He's played there before. Kurtz, one to six days. All right. At least 12 to seven. Fuck. No one wants to pitch right now. Let me win seven to three. And I'm just gonna send this. And lose six five. Fucking bullpen again. Alright, let me save. And then we're gonna go look at this trade deadline. We are at the trade deadline. Not trading Kurtz. Not trading Soderstrom. We have him for five more years, but he's 29 years old. And the only thing, he has great discipline. So he, he walks a lot. And he has power against lefties. Make him give me that young second baseman. Just because I say so. All right. Should we make this deal? I mean, Sutterstrom comes up. We got to get another first baseman. Could always move Tyler Nevin down. Then he's out of options. Can't move him down. He's out of options. Can we move Senzel down? We could move Senzel down, but he's hitting 300. Fuck it. Done deal. All right. I think we have too many players now. Yep, we gotta cut a guy. Can also trade two for one. Let me see. Four ninety one. Wow. 
115 ERA for Castro. My goodness. Monty Smooth, Trey Gibson. Oswaldo Cabrera, really? Jonathan Aranda. Drew Rasmussen. We could get that reliever plus, plus Richie Palacios. <laughs> Alec Manoa. You guys want an A potential? We just dealt with him, right? Cobert. Fletcher and Andrew Vaughn. Bo Brisky. Ali Bush. It was last draft. A potential center fielder. I think we're ripping him off. Hey, Yon Duran. We don't need him. Brooks Lee. We get a. We already have Adamas for two more years. We have Mayo. We have the young guy. So this does not help us. Unless we're going to move somebody to the outfield. Max Mayer, a potential starting pitcher. <laughs> 26 years old. You get Drew Gilbert. Ronnie Mauricio. Travis Sakura. It's a high draft pick. Stone Garrett. <laughs> Brendan Donovan. <clears throat> Julian Aguilar. Eli Valencia. Jack Suwinski. Triolo. Jordan Walker. They'll make this deal for Jordan Walker. Isn't that amazing? Get Helsley and JoJo. <laughs> Why would the Cardinals do that? We're not even giving him anything good back. Louis Sarais. Louis Loftus. You guys see any trades in here that look good? I mean... We've got Mayo, we've got Adamas, we've got the young guy coming up. We're going to have Soderstrom at first. We got our young catcher behind those guys. We got Kelnick and Ruiz out there in left, Rooker's DH, and we got Pete Crow playing defense in center, and we got Butler in right. I mean, the big thing is to improve our bullpen, right? Not these position players. He's got arbitration, then free agent. He would definitely improve our bullpen. We got a bunch of starting pitchers coming onto the roster.
Hmm. He just needs to play defense. He can hit. He can steal. All right, so I'm going to get rid of a relief pitcher because we have to go down a player, right? <clears throat> and I'm giving them this young second baseman that we honestly don't need. And I get rid of J.P. Sears to clear up spots, uh, stuff in the rotation because we've got a bunch of younger guys here. We have young guys coming in. And we get this young guy, and we just move this guy to first base. Be one of those weird, fast leadoff guys that plays first. Just drop him down at double A and let him play every day. All right, done deal. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Who's going up? Hass is going to triple A. Let's put this guy in double A. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. We gotta send somebody down. He's actually going to the major leagues. So now we gotta send two guys down. He's in triple A. You're going to triple A. And you're getting released. You're going to triple A. And you're going to double A. We still have one guy to send down. Alright, we have one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Probably don't need all these relievers, to be honest with you. So who can go down? Our barrel's already down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Muller. Send him through waivers. Don't care. He goes to triple A. You're going down to double A. All right. Who's going to be the long reliever? Mr. Rasmussen. 
put him in long relief. He used to be a starting pitcher. Put him in long relief, and that should help those middle innings. And we can adjust from there. Lineups, first base, and that's going to be Soderstrom. Fifty-seven seventy. Let's flip you and you. Lefties. I'm actually going to put 5661. I'll leave that there. Lefties. Nevins at first base. And third. All right, we're going to go with that for a little bit, see what happens. Short stop. Soto. Soto. Where's this dude? Oh, he's a triple A, right? He's five seven. Um, let's. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna make him like six five, but we're gonna we're gonna make him taller than five seven. Let's at least make him five ten. Yeah. Let me save this. Let me look at anything else. All right, Burns, Freed, Garcia, Spence, and Estes. 
These guys down at AAA. Alvarado, Rasmussen, Sandlin, Diaz, Castro, Underwood. All right. We only got one lefty reliever out of that whole mix. That's all right. And we'll deal with it next year. Because we, we sent Muller down. Langoliers and McCann. Soderstrom and Nevin. Fiori's down at AAA, crushing it. I'm sorry, AA. 305, 401, and 528. Guy's doing it. I'm not bringing him up, though. He needs to stay down there. Mayo's dropping against lefties because he wasn't playing. Hopefully that helps moving him. All right. All right. I think I'm done trading. We got the backup catcher. Soderstrom came up to the majors to replace Snoda. Traded away the one second baseman. But we got a much better reliever, cleared out some starting pitching stuff, and got that one young player. So, all right, let's just sim. We are 62 and 48. Five games behind the Rangers. And first place in a, by a comfortable margin on the wild card. So unless we absolutely collapse, it looks like we're in really good shape for the playoffs. We're ranked 14th. I think we started the season 13th or 15th. We're third in power. Defense is 25th. So we've scored 500 runs, but given up 439. Part of that's the ballpark. Part of it's the pitching. But 5, 512. Rangers at 520. So he scored more runs than the Dodgers. We just don't have their pitching. All right. We're going to sim this game against the Mets, and then we'll be done playing games. Um, we're, I'm telling you right now, we're definitely playing a game at Coors Field next stream. <laughs> well, we're going to play, uh, play at Coors. We'll probably play... Probably play a home game against the Mets at Cleveland and at Coors next time. All right. We sim that. Nick Kurtz is back good. We lost 3-1. to one. Freed left the game early. Let me get... Uh, let me get him back in. Nick needs to move up. There we go. Um, so the guy we took in the first round is an 84 potential, 66 overall. And he's already got his hits and strikeouts and walks in the 50s. So... By the time he's 21, those should be close to 70. In the 60s, closing on 70. So I'll take that. The closer was a 90, so he's just barely an A potential, but he's a 72. And his clutch is 65. That's the best player we drafted. There we go. <laughs> he's my size, 6'3", 231. I'm going to change his name to Roy Hobbs from Troy Hobbs. So he might need a year at AAA. Alexis Rodriguez was 87 potential, 62 overall. He's got to get his hits and strikeouts up, pitching clutch. He's going to spend at least three years in the minors. Stuart Iwamura, 82. With, he's a 70 overall with 82. So... He might be up sooner rather than later. Right-hander at 18 years old. Kiraz is a 90. He's an A potential. But only a 58 overall. Look at that. 
13 pitching clutch, which means he is going to get absolutely raked when they're men in scoring position. If he doesn't sim good in the minors, we'll trade him. Pedro is an 80 overall, six, I'm sorry, 60 overall, 80 potential. Pedro's probably going to the bullpen with that 65 stamina. And this guy, there we go. This is the guy we took a chance on. He's a D potential. He's a 64 potential, 60 overall. He's a good minor league. He can just stay down there and help out in double A. At least he can hit. You never know. He might hit well enough to minors that his potential goes up to a C. That would be nice. That's a hell of a mustache, too. <laughs> that is a hell of a mustache. He's got a big old ZZ Top beard. So we have Alexis Rodriguez, not Alex. And we have Troy Hobbs, not Roy. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got to look at the other picks. Um, they got nothing. And the division is nothing. This is the guy that went first overall. He won't, he won't uh, take too long in the minors for he's up. 89, 71 overall, 89 potential. This guy's all glove and speed. Remember this guy? I told you he was going to be B potential in the 50s. He's got terrible durability. He's got terrible vision discipline. Can't feel for shit. Guardado, we scouted him. He's power and some defense, and but he's a 66 potential. Wow. They took all these shitty defensive players. This guy's already at his max. J. Chu, 53, but he's 91 potential. There's another 91 potential. Fisher. Man, there's nothing in this. All right, there's the catcher we thought about taking. So he has great vision. And great contact, not much power. His arm is terrible, so he'd have to move to first base. So I'm happy we didn't take him. This guy's not too bad, 65. He's 23 years old, but he can definitely hit righties. 89 potential, he'll move up pretty quick. Slade, that's a dude. We just didn't have him scouted well enough. Dude's an 87 to 65. Man, we didn't scout him well enough. This guy's terrible hits per nine. Switch controller for the last five minutes here. All right, there's the other catcher. He's a 58, 79. He's not even B potential. They took him second overall. This is a terrible draft class. Tata, save the Tatas. There he is. Will Morgan. There you go. Really good power. Terrible durability. He's going to be hurt all the time. Can play defense. He's got speed and he can hit power. He reminds me of uh, Fiend Franchise's Brian Doe and he's Rocky's draft only franchise. Except he's a switch hitter. This is Brian Doe right here. And then they got another one. 72 overall, 81 potential. So they, they got a couple of really high overall. So they have high floor, low ceiling guys. They could step in and play right away. He didn't sign. He had three guys not sign. He didn't sign. That was the center fielder we would have taken. So they drafted him and didn't sign him. He's 19. So he's going to be in next year's draft. Marshall Coley. Corley, sorry. Marshall Corley. 
see bash for eating with a party of 10 thank you man appreciate it we're almost done so let me shout you out man appreciate that thank you thank you playing mlb the show what are you doing mlb the show you doing uh diamond dynasty you have your own uh you have your own franchise welcome in guys welcome welcome What were you playing over there? Thank you for the raid. Appreciate that. We are just going through our draft. We uh, finished up the month of July. And uh, we are are doing uh, a review of all the draft picks. This guy went fifth overall. And uh, he didn't sign. So now we can't look at him. So he'll be in next year's draft. Reigns was the guy we thought about. 84 was 62. This guy went before we could pick. Freaking 94 with a 73. That guy, he might even bank their rotation right now at 18 years old. Wow. Too bad he didn't fall, eh? Look at this guy. He's only a 58. The 95 potential. I'll just stick him in the miners and let him go. There's the guy we didn't scout. He's all power and speed. No, no contact. Welcome in, guys. We are, uh, like I said, we're looking at... Ooh, missed this guy. He's an A potential in a 58. He's 22. So this is uh, these are the guys we drafted. So we got this guy, 84, 66 in the first. This was a uh, competitive balance round. We got this closer, 72 and 90 potential. Got this starter, 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 first base. Yeah, not bad considering. I mean, I would have loved to have either one of those other pitchers. Um, but, you know, you got to deal with what you can do <laughs> so here now i can hear again so not bad and uh last year's draft we got this guy this guy there was somebody else I don't think it was Finch. I don't think it was him. Now as a starter with bad um, stamina, so he went down once we moved him to the bullpen. Same thing with Cordero. <clears throat> they were higher than this, but they went down. They took a hit when we shoved them in the pen. Um, we just traded for Dalton Rushing. Uh, we called up. We just called up Soderstrom. This is the guy we drafted in the first round last year. I think he went. Fourth? Fifth? He was a first baseman. We moved him to second base because we really need a second baseman. We don't need a first baseman. He's got a really good arm. The rest of his defense is a little sus. He is absolutely crushing lefties, though. Look at that. 17 doubles, 17 homers, 65 RBIs in 80 games. The uh, player locked with him and hit a couple home runs in one game. So he's 9-11 OPS. Only made nine errors. We traded uh, with Baltimore, gave them, who the hell's the A's second baseman? Zach Geloff. And yeah, Kobe Mayo. Um, signed Willie Adamas as a free agent. He's got 23 home runs. Signed Kelnick as a free or No, we traded with the Braves for him. He's hitting 220, but at least he's got 12 homers. Traded for Pete Crow only because we need the defense and speed because of the size ballpark. I made a custom stadium for these guys, and we, we need his defense in center field. It's fucking huge. And we added Joe Adele. So... 
anyway. Let me save this. So what we did is we took Oakland and we moved them to um, Salt Lake City. So they are the Utah Avengers. Back out of here for a sec. And all you new guys in here, since we're not playing a game, I'll let you see what the uh, stadium is. I made this stadium. You'll get to see all the stadiums I made here, but. Next year, if I do a White Sox one, we're going to play in this park right here, this Windy City Stadium. I made this one to be uh, either a replacement for Comiskey, guaranteed rate, or uh, Wrigley, but it's like a downtown park. It's got some overhangs. We've got some bleachers built into these uh, buildings over here. Got some more upper deck bleachers we added some uh party deck standing room over here behind the wall get out of this building so that's uh next year and I'll go show you the one we're in right now. <clears throat> we did an Ace franchise last year, and I made him a uh, retractable dome stadium. So that is this one right here. We played in there, and that was fun. Really fun place to play. And then this is the one we're playing in right now with Utah. So... get up high enough so you can get a good view of the whole stadium so obviously these would be a bullpen here if they didn't have them on the field same thing over there that would be a bullpen we got bleachers they got walkway staircase all the way up get some dogs there got a couple of places for concessions down here Another one over there. We got the uh, people behind the wall there. And then this is a, it's a building. It's actually three buildings all put together. And we uh, buried it behind this except for the top row. So that's like a suites. And then up here we got a party deck. We can stand up here and watch the game from up on the party deck. And then on the back side, we got concessions back here and stuff. So, anyway, that's the ballpark we made that we're playing in. Here's what it looks like when you're in the box. And there it is at night. So. And Batten, if you're still in here, I'm going to show you this uh, Florida park that I've been messing around with the last couple of days. The no bat means it's not, um, you can't play online. So you can't use it for Diamond Dynasty. Only because I changed the outfield dimensions. Um, if you use the, the standard dimensions that they have when you're making um, stadiums, like like this one I can't play online with but this one here has the regular dimensions so you can play that one um and i think i have that one set to like five thousand feet so if you want to use that park in diamond dynasty against the cpu when you're playing the cpu on rookie then you can go in there and it's like playing in course field but it's different dimensions but that's what the bat means you can't play online um, yeah, I don't have a name for this one yet, Batten. So this is what it looks like. I'm still messing around. I haven't figured out beyond center field yet. Um, any of that stuff, but we have this little two tiered deck over here that connects these levels. I need to put a, uh, 
need to put another thing here to, to put those together, but it's hidden. You can't see it. So I have a little party deck over there. These people can come down here and walk over and get something to eat. Um, boxes up there, little sweets. I stacked multiple here, so we have a whole big high tall press box area with these and then you got these little wings that hang out and i took these things which come from this futuristic pack right and i put them all the way around let me get up a high shot i put them in four different places and they have a light standard hidden in each one so when you turn on so the lights are built into those things And uh, then we built this little area. I don't know what to do with this. And we have these little bleachers sitting out here in the outfield. And you can walk on the grass and then go over here and there's sand. And so it's duplicated on both sides. You got stairs or you got escalator if you can't do the stairs. You got a burger place in between. Scoreboard way up there. A little picnic area out here in center field. Um, this area here I haven't touched. And then uh, we've got water, so it's like a bay. You got the boats and everything out there. So, uh, yeah, I got to put tall buildings over here. And some tall buildings over here. I need to put a roof. And I got to figure out what I'm doing here. Because it, it likely will be some sort of uh, um, standing seating area. I'm going to replace all that stuff. So I'll pull it out. Um, kind of like, yeah, you can upload them. You definitely can upload them. Um, you just can't play online. Um, yeah, so see how this is uh, down at Houston. So you can see how they have different levels. They're, they're kind of stacked and it's standing and they have restaurants and stuff behind and all that good stuff. And so I might try to take something from that as inspiration to go do that open area. Um, same thing here where they it, it comes out. It's, it's connected, but it's a separate seating area. So I might have that. Um, but yeah, if you want to go look at all of them and download any of them, this is my PSN. Just search by PSN. Yeah. So this this right here is not done. Um, so. And I'll show you a couple others that I haven't ever used on uh, stream. Like I made this one for Charlotte because I was uh, messing around and moved the Washington Nationals to Charlotte. So Lending Tree Park. It's got a split upper deck. And I uh, combined a couple of uh, waterfalls together, put some rocks in there, added some uh, shrubbery. And then on this side, we just did flowers and rocks, the glove. And then I uh, created my own seating area. Did three sections of it, short scoreboard behind the center field. And then you got a kid's play area, restaurant. It's just not as finished. I, I tucked a uh, team store underneath. And this is... Uh, these are all... It's multiple. It's just a little shack building thing. And they're all linked together. So, But it makes it like its own little...
club seating, whatever. So that's Charlotte. The biggest thing here is this waterfall thing in center field. And then I did one for Nashville. I started doing a series on YouTube. The We moved Tampa Bay to Nashville. They were the Nashville Blues. But nobody was watching them. And I was putting in eight hours to do a one-hour video with all the editing and voiceover. And I was just like, fuck it. I don't want to do this. Um, here's Music City. It's got a, uh, a bigger corner area. This one, the second deck wraps all the way around. All the way around. Got a bunch of concession stands under there. On the back side, so those are on that side, but if you walk around the back side, this is the real concession stand over here. And before they had the stairs, you had to make your own stairs, so... We did that, and oh, this one. We put this hotel built into the back of the stadium, and we put this diner up here so you can go eat. You can go right up from the stands and go right into the diner and eat. And this is another part of the uh, hotel thing. And in the center field, we put all the monuments on both sides. So that's Nashville. Anything else? Yeah, we're at four hours. We're going to be done here in a minute. Man, thank you for the raid and everybody that came in and uh, followed so you can comment. Appreciate that. I really do. This is one I originally did for Tampa Bay, but I haven't used it. Oh yeah, here. This will be the last one I show you guys. I made a replacement for uh, Royal Stadium. Why that's giving me trouble like that, but that wall goes right across to cut those stands off. All these high bleachers up here, big ass scoreboard. What's funny is this is it's two it's two scoreboards facing each other. I don't want to see the scoreboard, but I want I want the uh, the crown thing. And here's a separate little seating area there. Got like a convention center across the street, so when you're batting, that's what you see. So, anyway. All right, boys and girls, I am done. So, next time we stream, I don't know when it's going to be. It won't be tomorrow. won't be Friday. won't be Saturday. It could be Sunday, if not Monday. But we are done. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm a little hangry. And I was going to go to uh, Sam's and get gas. So I'll have to do that tomorrow. I need to go eat some dinner. So... Anyway, you guys take care. Appreciate it. We'll be back with the month of August and uh, see if we can uh, catch Texas. I doubt it, but we'll try. Who can we go raid? Who is on? You guys have anybody you want me to go raid? I could go raid Uncle Sam's Rejects if you want to go watch NC or uh, EA Sports College Football. Let's go raid Uncle Sam. I have never rated him, but I saw him play in uh, whatever that football league with George was in. <laughs> Uncle Sam, what's he playing? Looks like he's looking at his, uh, he's doing an air raid offense with Ole Miss and Oregon. So, all right, we'll get the raid going. You guys are ready. We'll head on over there to Uncle Sam. He's going to have college football. And uh, watch your notifications for uh, next stream for baseball. 
And uh, I will catch you guys uh, later, man. Appreciate you.